Welcome back for another video in the Luxygen world of billionaires, luxury, and mega projects. People created secrets and surprising features into national monuments long ago, such as hidden rooms, miniature reproductions, and other hidden treasures that are difficult to believe exist. We'll look at some of the best kept secrets found inside national monuments in today's video. Without further ado, here are the 15 best kept secrets of national monuments. Number 15. The Eiffel Tower, Gustav Eiffel's Apartment. Could this be one of the first penthouses for a bachelor? When the Eiffel Tower was first completed in 1897, the reception was tepid to cold. But after a while, he became one of Paris's most coveted individuals, not only for his tremendous access, but also for having developed a highly sought-after piece of real estate. Gustave's apartment was right at the top of his famous tower, where he would host a variety of famous guests, including world leaders, great scientists, and high flyers of Parisian society at the time, as well as the occasional young lady or two, as he wandered around in his Hugh Hefner jacket and got his flirty Frenchman on. That or tinkling away on his grand piano, which had mysteriously made its way to the top of the Eiffel Tower. You have to feel bad for the piano movers who got that task. Number 14. Brooklyn Bridge Wine Cellars Did you know there was once a wine cellar beneath the Brooklyn Bridge in New York? You didn't, of course. Designer John Roebling and his son Washington had to not only find a method to fund the project, but also deal with a wine firm and a whiskey company that were right in the middle of their proposed route, before the bridge was completed in 1883. So, a light bulb went out in Washington's head, and he offered to build two wine vaults in the bridge's foundations, one on each bank. And before they were dark and cool, they turned out to be the ideal location for storing valuable vintages from across the world. Other rooms, as well as the wine cellars, were rented out to local enterprises, but neither of these nor the wine cellars are currently in use. However, the vendors are still right beneath your feet, so if you're seeking for office space in New York but can't afford to rent anything in the various buildings available, you might want to consider standing on the Brooklyn Bridges Foundations. It's a good place to do business. There will undoubtedly be a lot of foot traffic. Number 13. Niagara Falls, Devil's Home The wonder and majesty of the 6 million cubic feet of water passing over the waterfalls is one of the world's most impressive natural wonders. But as you gaze at the wonder and majesty of this waterfall, it's likely never occurred to you that there might be a cave nearby haunted by the souls of 350 dead British soldiers. The Devil's Hole, also known as the Cave of Evil Spirits, is located just north of Niagara Falls on the New York side, and it is here that a mass murder allegedly occurred in 1763. According to legend, 350 British soldiers were marching up the river from the falls when they stopped at the cave for a bite to eat, only to be surprised by the Seneca Indians who managed to burn most of them alive while the majority of the others drowned. Despite their deaths, the Niagara Falls gained another tourist attraction as many visitors seek out the Devil's Hole for that extra paranormal experience after stepping inside. Number 12. Statue of Liberty, the Torch Room Most of us are aware that climbing up into the crown of the Statue of Liberty is conceivable, either as a result of our personal trips to New York or as a consequence of seeing Ghostbusters do it in their 1989 sequel. But we're not going to talk about the crown, because the torch room holds the secret. It used to be common knowledge that you could climb up to the torch for a better look from a higher vantage point, but it has been forbidden since 1916. This was following an explosion on the neighboring island, which not only shattered windows around the city, but also resulted in shrapnel stuck in Lady Liberty's arm. As a result, ascending to the torch room became a classified danger risk to people's safety. Number 11. The Lincoln Memorial Secret Room We all know what the Lincoln Memorial looks like. A large structure with a massive corridor in the middle and a massive marble statue of Abraham Lincoln seated in the center. 
This entire work of architectural art would not appear out of place in the heart of Rome, but it is located in Washington, D.C. We wish to attract your attention to the 43,000 square foot basement beneath Honest Abe's Recreation, which has been utterly forgotten about for the past 60 years. Workers had to excavate a trench for the concrete columns that support the marble sculpture, the large chair, and the much larger building that surrounds him. As a result, this weird subterranean addition was born. Although you can see the door to this area, it's not recommended that you enter because you will have to writhe and crawl around. Workers uncovered a complete ecosystem of rodents and insects down there when it was discovered in 1975. So let's just be grateful that the entrance to it is well and absolutely closed. Number 10. Florence. The Secret Art Corridor. If you've ever visited Florence, you know how wonderful it is. From Michelangelo's David to the Uffizi Gallery to the random statues and paintings that seem to be hanging around on the street, entirely unaffected by the elements. There is art everywhere. You'd also learn that it was a Renaissance project commissioned by the Medicis and designed by Leonardo da Vinci. The Vasari Corridor, an elevated and closed tunnel between Palazzo Vecchio and Palazzo Pitti, joins the Uffizi Gallery en route and runs across the River Arno, lies hidden among it all. It was originally meant as a corridor for royals and nobles to avoid utilizing the bridge part of it, which passes through the Uffizi and was built by the famed Vasari family in the 16th century. It houses the museum's famed collection of self-portraits, which is why it's known as the Secret Art Corridor. However, it's only open to tourists on rare occasions, so you'll have to investigate how and when to book a visit. Number 9. Mount Rushmore Hall of Records Everyone recognizes Mount Rushmore the moment they see it. It's undoubtedly one of the most well-known sites in the United States, and it's in South Dakota, where four heads of former presidents George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln are carved into the Black Hills rock face to memorialize them. However, behind these skulls is an 8,000 square foot vault designed to house some of the country's most priceless relics. Unfortunately, this did not happen until 1998 when officials chose to fill it with a copy of the U.S. Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and biographies of the four presidents, hence the name Hall of Records. All of this is concealed under a half-ton slab of stone, so good luck stealing them. Number 8. Grand Central Terminal Tennis Club Each year, more than 20 million people pass through New York City's Grand Central Terminal and it's a safe guess that just a small percentage of them are carrying a tennis racket. Now, that may seem funny to mention while discussing a train station, but this train station has to be the only one in the world with a relatively hidden tennis club. Although Grand Central has been standing since 1916, the tennis club has been functioning since the 1960s. And while it was initially open to average people like you and me, it became extremely exclusive after a renovation in 1984 and was only open to exceptionally rich and famous people. Given that Donald Trump oversaw the remodeling, this comes as no surprise. It's no longer a top secret organization and you don't have to be wealthy or prominent to participate. A session there would cost between $150 to $200 per hour and the trains aren't even that expensive yet. Number 7 Flinders Street Station Grand Ballroom We continue on from Grand Central Station to Flinders Street Station in Melbourne, Australia, which has an equally enigmatic mystery hidden within its elegant interior. It contains a spacious empty room on the station's top floor. You won't be able to visit it, so don't bother asking. This was a huge ballroom in the 1940s that was at the heart of Melbourne's ballroom dancing culture for two decades. Despite how popular this place was, each night of ballroom dancing had to end at a specific time, no matter how much patrons pleaded with the owners to let them dance one more time. This may appear severe, but it was done just to ensure that every single dancer made the last train home. Number 6. Washington Monument? The Mini Monument The Washington Monument has been described as beautiful, historic, and phallic over the years. 
With a height of just over 554 feet and 7 inches, this structure truly dominates the city of Washington, D.C., which is quite an accomplishment in a capital full of monuments. Many people are unaware that there is a miniature version of the Washington Monument. Given that it is buried underground, this is understandable. This is actually a benchmark, which is usually merely a metal cap or rod used by surveyors to check the accuracy of their maps. This benchmark, on the other hand, is a 12-foot tall duplicate of its bigger sibling. Concealed beneath a brick chimney and hidden beneath a manhole cover, if you go to DC, you'll be able to find the cover quite easy, but no one can open it, so don't bother. Number 5. The Supreme Court Basketball Court The Supreme Court isn't like a basketball court where you may dunk and dribble. Maybe the dribble would be allowed because the Supreme Court has a secret that we're going to learn about. However, if you find yourself working at the highest level of the American legal system, but still have a strong desire to play some hoops, you may go to the Supreme Court Basketball Court on the 5th floor. The hilarious thing about this court and its proximity to the other court is that noise certainly spreads quickly, to the point that there's a sign on the door warning people not to use it when the Supreme Court is in session. There have been times in the past when clerks were dispatched upstairs to ask the players to be quiet because they were interfering with what could only be the most important business taking place in the land's highest court. Number 4. Trafalgar Square, Tiny Police Station If you're a fan of Doctor Who, you'll be familiar with how his spaceship, the TARDIS, is disguised as an old phone box with a considerably larger inside. In London's Trafalgar Square, there is a little police station that looks a lot like the TARDIS, only it's roughly the same size both inside and out. It's actually a lot smaller than a conventional police phone box. This strange curiosity arose from the fact that Trafalgar Square is not only a popular tourist destination, but it also serves as a gathering spot for protest riots and marches. So it's useful to have a space just big enough for one lone police officer to fit inside in case thousands of people become enraged. It's essentially a lookout tower erected in 1920, allowing police officers to keep an eye on what's going on outside while remaining safe secure and connected to Scotland Yard. If they require assistance, it features a blinking light on top. Number 3. Empire State Building, the 103rd Floor King Kong undoubtedly had no idea there was an extra secret floor at the top of New York's Empire State Building when he ascended it in the 1930s. And even if he had, he would have been turned away for not being renowned enough. The Empire State Building is officially 102 stories tall, with observation decks on the 80th, 86th, and 102nd floors, all of which are extremely safe with reinforced glass to prevent any worst-case scenarios. Most people are unaware that if you are a VIP, you can access the 103rd floor. If you're a VIP, you'll be escorted to the floor with knee-high walls, which means that the 103rd floor has the best vantage point in New York City wonderful photo opportunities for celebs, and lots of privacy away from all those pesky regular folks. Number 2. Christ the Redeemer, Hollow Interior If you're a Christian, you believe that Jesus Christ was filled with the Holy Spirit, thus you'd expect to discover that inside Rio de Janeiro's Christ the Redeemer. What you wouldn't expect to discover, on the other hand, is a lot of nothing. Christ the Redeemer is a colossal statue that stands atop a 2,300-foot mountain with massive arms stretching out 92 feet wide. It was built between 1922 and 1931 and stands atop a 2,300-foot mountain. The fact that there is so much empty space inside it is even more perplexing. Although there is a stairway that leads all the way to the summit, no one is permitted to use it. Because the engineers knew early on that, in addition to the statue's outstanding beauty, it is also one large lightning rod that can be struck every few days during stormy periods. So only full-time maintenance teams is allowed on that stairs. Number 1. Statue of Leonardo, Secret Hatch Leonardo da Vinci was noted for leaving hidden messages in his work, creating complicated puzzles, and being secretive in general. Needless to say, Leonardo da Vinci has always been a huge thing in Italy. 
which is why since 1960, a 60-foot tall monument of him has greeted passengers at Rome's Fumincino Airport. However, it was only recently discovered during renovations that a secret hatch has been installed by the artist S.N. Paykov, which contained a couple of enigmatic parchments, one of which contained the names of a number of influential politicians who were present for the unveiling, and the other written in Latin, telling the history of the area where the airport stands, dating back to ancient times and including descriptions of the landscape before humans set foot there. It's assumed that these are Paykov's works, but we'll never know because he died in 1973. Whoever did it, one thing was certain, Leonardo would have been ecstatic. Thank you for joining us for another video in the Luxygen channel, and we hope you enjoyed exploring the 15 best kept secrets hidden inside national monuments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed of our future videos.